Hi there, and you're watching Duke of TV. I'm Derm McDermott. We are back on the topic of the challenges facing the Swiss banking sector. And I have Cedric Roland Gosselin, head of Peter Kahn Bank in Switzerland, with me today. Welcome. Thank you. So we are seeing a lot of pressure being put on Swiss banks. There's going to be so many changes. Now, Cedric, what are your views on this changing landscape? Well, I think this, this landscape is changing, but changing very fast. So I think the first thing is, is the speed of this change. I think this, this is good. And also, it's, I think it's very natural because we all knew that we would have to change. And I think the banking sector in Switzerland would have to change. The problem is today that I think, like all clients, I mean, they expect from us as a private bank to have expertise, trust, long-term view. And I think today what I'm looking as a CEO of a bank is long-term view, expertise and trust from Switzerland. So I think the environment has to change, that's for sure. But we, we have, let's say, expectations that do not really fulfill what's happening today. I think the US, uh, the US problem that, that's happening today and the agreement with Switzerland is probably something that is not exactly in the, the right direction uh, to keep the trust for the clients, to, uh, uh, to keep a long-term view and good relationship uh, at that level. And how exactly can Swiss banks protect themselves and prepare themselves going forward? Well, I, th I think today, um, we uh, are looking at uh, the right direction. I mean, the right direction is uh, to have a real Swiss expertise. Uh, we are not naive, so we know uh, that for some clients, we knew the reason why they went to Switzerland, like for Luxembourg, Singapore, and other places. Mm -hmm. I think this global transparency is something that is actually uh, moving forward very actively, and I think everybody is prepared or has to be prepared. Um, and I think today what will replace this bank secrecy is competition with the local uh, countries. And, uh, and all competitors are not in Switzerland, they are in Paris, in London, everywhere in Europe, but also out where. Uh, and, and for that, I think we have to be prepared to deliver. Uh, we have to deliver performance and people will come and clients will come to us if we deliver services and performances. And maybe not with the same rates and the same fees than before. Uh, so I think today it's a global competition. But So I think we are quite optimistic on the opportunities, but we have to be prepared and I think people have to be trained for that. So looking ahead, looking into the future, where do you see the future of Swiss banks? Well, I think the Swiss banking industry is, is very coherent. Uh, we are very specialized. We have delivered long-term uh, history and services. Now we have just to be sure that, that, that we can deliver the right service to the client. And so I think today the industry is moving on the right direction, making it clear for everybody that uh, the Swiss banks are not hiding everything. Uh, we are fulfilling and all clients are fulfilling their obligation. But on the other side, we, we are a very strong competitor for the rest of the world. And I think like Singapore, like Switzerland, we will remain, and London, we will remain, I think, very, very important places at this uh, financial uh, uh, level, that's for sure. Thank you very much. Pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you. Well, that is it for right now, but make sure you have a look at all our other interviews on this topic. Goodbye for now.